What's up guys, Dustin Yu here, back with the Florida Panthers GM mode, and we are into the preseason here. Um, so I've already gone through and did our lines, I, <laughs> I got our lines did, we did them. Um, I'll show you guys really fast. And I made it so basically all my four star or better players are playing in the uh, AHL right now. So I'll show you guys that. But here's what I ended up with. Uh, Barchi, Huberto, Callahan. Barchi's now an 87, which is sick. Uh, Bodker, Mueller, Yakupov. Very similar up here. And then Matthias, or Matthias, Shore, Reinhardt. Reinhardt is better defensively. And then we got a whole new fourth line. Um, Howden did get called up near the end of the season. Um, but, yeah, completely new uh, fourth line for us. Actually, where's... Did Gotch retire or something? Maybe he did. Maybe that's what he... Maybe that's where he went. I didn't notice him retire, but maybe he did. Um, yeah, so our whole fourth line now, we uh, we, br we got uh, Fraser McLaren. He's a enforcer, so he's pretty much here to, to fight. <laughs> That's pretty much his job. And then we got Howden and Biug said. So Howden uh, did play a little bit last year. Uh, I, don't, I can't remember how many games he had. 37 games. Okay. He had 12 points. It's not bad. But he, he he's actually got uh, pretty good stats like as a player. Um, his defense is pretty decent. I mean, he, obviously he's not going to get a ton of playing time, but he's got, you know, he's got pretty good, decent stats. Like, they're not, they're not obviously awesome, but they're not bad. He, like, he could be a third liner, probably. And then Biag said I brought up, uh, this will be his first kind of NHL season. He's a righty. Um, he, he, when I did best lines, he ended up center, but I put him on the right because he's a right-hander, and Howden's a left, and he's got better face-offs, so. Um, his defense awareness is a little bit better than Howden's, but... Yeah, I don't know. They're both about, they're they're very close. They're very similar players, so I think they should do do decent together on this uh, line here with McLaren. I don't know. Basically, it's just supposed to be like a tough tough line to play against. Um, but yeah, like our whole team right now is pretty solid. We all have we have nobody under an eighty. Uh, defensively, we got Ekman, Larson, Larson, Kulikov, Good Branson, uh, Petrovic, and White. Now I have I have an idea what I want to do with Good Branson, um, so I'll do that right away. And then I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to give Dansk a shot this year. He had he had great start, stats starting last year, but I'm going to give him a shot, I think. Um, so we'll go into, yeah, so San Antonio, Vienna is an 80. Uh, he's pretty much going to play every game, and I want to see how he turns out. He's a 25. He's, I think he's a year older than Dansk, I believe. Uh, he's 25, and Dansk is, oh, maybe he's two years older. Anyways, yeah, he's he he could turn out to be a great goalie as well. We might have another goalie problem. Thankfully, he didn't get over eighty, because <laughs> like, uh, the last couple of years I've had like goalie issues. I remember two two years ago when we still had uh, Vokun. We had Vokun. We had that Smith guy who we traded to the Islanders, and then we had Markstrom and um, and uh, Bernier. Because I signed Bernier, so we had four goalies. So I had to trade two of them away. And then last year we had. Uh, Markstrom, Bernier, and Dansk because Dansk was an 83 and Markstrom was an 83. So we traded Markstrom away. He went to play for Edmonton. He had a pretty decent season. Um, so thankfully this year we don't have an issue with goalie. I mean, 84s are pretty decent. Um, and they're going to be rotating and such. So yeah, but Vienna is getting up there already. So we'll see what happens. So here's our offensive lines. I put uh, Reinhardt on the first line because he is a four and a half star. Hopefully he gets better, but uh, he's playing with Gagne and Butler, so that's actually a really solid line. Like Butler, Reinhardt, and Gagne, we got a two-way forward, a playmaker, and a sniper. So I don't know. He should do well. Uh, second line, we got Upshaw with Barkov and Cassian, which is pretty good. Cassian was our uh, first-round pick this year, twenty-seventh um, overall, but he's not a bad player. He's a power forward, so um, I could use a power forward in the NHL if he actually develops. And then uh, Kosmichuk, Trocek, and Lippin. Lippin was up here, but I moved him down because I want I want to see if Cassian will get better. And then Winchester Lodge and Shaw. So basically, um, we don't have anybody who's not like a four star or better, like not in the lineup right now. Um, yeah, basically everyone who's actually three and a half star or better, they're all in the lineup. I have them all in the lineup for the AHL, which is hopefully going to be good. Defense, I put uh, Harrington. I don't know how old is he again. He's a four star. He's 24. Yeah, this is the kid I signed in the offseason. I signed him and uh, uh, Finn. So he's a defensive. I put him with uh, Morrissey, who's an offensive. And then I have Barker with Vladkov, who's uh, one of our one of our first-round first, over, first round draft picks. I think he was 11th, yeah, in 2015. So 
I don't know. I'd like to see some of these guys get better, but it's the progress is just slow, you know. And then I put that Finn that I signed with Gilroy, so he's Finn's actually not bad at all. He's he's pretty decent, so I don't know if if him and uh, Harrington develop faster than Vlachkov and Morrissey, then well they'll probably be in the NHL soon. So, but uh, yeah, I don't know. That's how it's looking right now. So it looks like our lines are pretty solid, but I do have a an idea for um, good Branson to get rid of him because um, I took a quick peek in the uh, trade block like search so I'll do that again to show you guys and then we'll we'll try and make the trade I think we should be able to it should be pretty pretty easy actually so um, and then what else we oh yeah we got to start off with scouting here before we actually sim any games um, do, 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 do first round okay so there always seems to be a top 10 in these uh, places. Oh, WHL has two top fives. Okay, well, we'll start there then, I guess. Go six weeks. I'm going to see if we can uh, upgrade our scouting a little bit better as well. Not not entirely positive, but... Doo -doo -doo. I think we should have a good season. Like, our team has obviously improved from last year, so... Uh, oh, we only have 535 to go. Okay, well... Yeah, I don't know why the GM rep is just ridiculous in this game. It's hard to... It's hard to get. I find it hard to get it up, honestly. <laughs> that was funny. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> where are we going here? You guys threw me off my train of thought. God. Um, but yeah, the GM rep is just ridiculous. Okay, so here's what I did. On our uh, training block, we have Eric Goodbranson here. Uh, Wants, we have first and seconds. And then uh, surplus, we have obviously third plus. Um, but yeah, I did uh, 17 to 27 defense, top four. So I did the search, and obviously Bogo's the top, which is ridiculous. He's an 88 overall. I don't know how he's still a top four. That <laughs> boggles my mind. Uh, there's our Larson. Um, some good, some decent players, some decent players, some decent players. We got good Branson right here. But underneath Fowler is Morgan Riley. <laughs> he's, he's 23. He's a four and a half red star. So, you know, whatever. That's not a big deal. He could probably have a good season here uh, with us, I think. But he's 23, so he's already 87, which is great. But look at his trade value compared to Good Branson. It's a lot lower. Um, I don't think there is much of anything else. Yeah, everyone else is below that. But, oh, Ryan Murray is actually not bad, too. What is he like? He's a 4.5 red star as well. Okay, well, we could go for uh, Ryan Murray, worst case. But I kind of want to try getting another offensive defenseman, Morgan Riley. You know, he'll, he'll help us out for sure on the power play. Like immensely like look at his stats he like i don't understand how his trade value is so low um, but yeah he'll definitely help us out on the power play and as a as a, like a second line defenseman i'm gonna keep it so it's um uh, ekman larson and larson because i want a two-way with the offensive and then i'm gonna have um kulikov with morgan riley so i think it should work morgan riley is classed as a top four so yeah, it should be worse. But, like, look at his offensive stats. They're disgusting. I mean, his puck control could be a little bit better, but otherwise, I mean, he'll be great on our power play. He should help out our power play. Um, last year, he had 29 points, and I think we should be able to up him with that. So, um, yeah, we're going to attempt to try and trade good Branson for him. Um, I think we'll have to throw in a smidge. I mean, obviously, it's a pretty fair trade, but I don't think they're just going to give him up that easy. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll try first, and then I'll probably have to throw in a draft pick of some sort. Uh, don't waste your time. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, yeah, we definitely need to throw in something here. Uh, the ser What the heck? The search thing is, like, messed up right now. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's see if there's anybody that's not in our AHL lineup that we can get rid of. Gilroy, eh. Butler, Barker, no. Gagne, no. Upshaw, no. Max Reinhardt, no. I don't think there's anybody that we... Look at look at Sam Reinhardt. That's ridiculous, man. Starts off as a 4.5 gold star and then just drops. Stupid. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to worry. I'll, I'll do a draft pick, maybe. Uh, or we have goalies. We have lots of goalies, actually. Uh, goalies... Bureau, Le Cavalier, or Vienna. Uh, well, technically, Bureau is a little bit better, but Le Cavalier is a gold star. Um, 
What else do we have for goalies? Bernier, Bureau, Danskel, Cavalier, and Vienna. We could trade uh, Le Cavalier, but I don't know how many uh, goalies they have. So, uh, let's start with a second. I think they should take a second. Yeah, okay, good. I don't think they would have taken a third, so I'd, I didn't want to, like, even try. There we go. So, we got uh, Morgan Riley for our team, which is huge. It's going to be a big upgrade. Um, I'm actually really excited. <laughs> There we go. Morgan Riley for the second line. That's so yeah. Like I said, Ekman Larson and Larson. I think Riley's a righty. Oh, he's a lefty. Okay, that doesn't work out. Kulikov's a lefty too, but that's fine. Um, yeah, we'll go like that. I think that should be pretty solid. Yeah. And then uh, power play wise, he's gonna be up there as well. Put him uh, right here, Riley. Like I said, he should help us on the power play. Worse, like, if it comes down to it, we can put him on the first power play with Ekman Larson. So, um, but yeah, he's going to be a. I think he's going to be great for us. Definitely help us or help our team out here. And he's got pretty good defensive stats too. Like he's not bad defensively. Like his his awareness is eighty five, but his shot blocking stick check is in the nineties. So, it's pretty good. Uh, actually, why is why is Larson not on here? What's Larson's stats? I thought he had pretty good defense. Oh, it's not as good, but... Okay, what is... How about uh, compared to White? Uh, 86, 85, 86. Oh, wow, White's actually got pretty good defensive awareness. Okay, that's fine. Um, actually, I might uh, rotate these guys then. Go like that. Uh, Three-man PK, we'll go like that. Put uh, Riley up there. Um, what do we got? We got Shore and Huberto. Okay, that should work. PK wise, Huberto, Reinhardt, Shore, Callahan. That should be solid. I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't work. Uh, four and four. Let's put him there, and we gotta switch Kulikov and Larson. There we go. White and Petrovic. Uh, yeah, that'll work. We got Huberto, Barchi. Mueller and Callahan, Matthias and Yakupov. Okay, sure, that's fine. Uh, Huberto, Ekman, Larson. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Uh, Dansk and Bernier shootout lineup: Huberto, Barchi, Ekman, Larson. Okay, no, I don't want that. I want. Uh, let's put Calla. Uh, how good is Callahan's hands? Uh, they're okay. I feel like Bodker would probably be a better choice, though. I feel like he's probably got good... Oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe I'll put Callahan in. I mean, Ekman Larson actually might have s s sweet... Yeah, actually, he's probably better on the shootout, which is kind of weird. Maybe I'll make him the fourth shooter. I'll put Yakupov in. Yeah, Yakupov's got pretty good stats, so... Although he's not getting better as a four and a half gold star, but uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever, that's fine. Okay, so we got Morgan Riley. Bolstered our uh, offensive defense there. And hopefully he helps out our offense. I think he should. Especially our second line. If he's playing with our second line constantly, that should improve the output of Yakupov, Mueller, and Bodker. I would, I would hope, anyways. Um, just because, you know, like he's out there, he's probably, like he's second line, so he should be out there with them almost all the time. Not every time, but, you know, for the most part. Um, okay, what do we got here? Uh, Barchi, Huberto, Kulikov. I think I'm going to take the A from Barchi, give it to Ekman Larson. Uh, actually, eh. Eh. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Ekman Larson. Huberto, Ekman Larson, Kulikov. That's pretty good. Um, I don't know what... I'm really bad with some of the numbers. I don't know a lot of people's numbers, so... Uh, more, yeah, actually, I think Morgan Riley's number four. I could be wrong with that. I don't think he is on the Toronto Maple Leafs, but I think his actual number is four. So I'm going to leave it like that. If I have the numbers wrong, just let me know, because I... Like I said, I'm not the best with numbers, so I don't know 100%. 
All right, so there to that. Uh, let's do simming through the preseason here. We got our scouting done. Got our lines done. We picked up Riley. I think he should help us. Honestly, I think he should be a big help on our second line. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Um, I don't... I don't think I'm gonna... Maybe I'll just do the last three games. I'll do in depth. So I'll split... I'll split the first two. I'll do Danskin for two games. And then I'll do Bernie for two games. And then the last three, I might just... Uh, rotate or something. I don't know. Let's see here. Yeah, maybe I'll do Dansk for two, and then we'll do Bernier for three, and then we'll put Dansk in for the last two. All right, Buffalo, nice. All right, so it's pretty good. We've only allowed one goal so far. Put Bernier in. We'll do these two games, and then I'll I'll do like the actual sim just to see how our team does. Montreal. Yeah, like look at Mueller. For what? Fourteen nothing? Oh my god! What? That is the highest score I have ever seen in an NHL game. Holy shit! I think we, I think we may have set a record, guys. Fourteen nothing. We curb stomped Montreal. Holy crap. If we have that type of offense and then we beat and then we beat Toronto 6-2. Holy. But 14 nothing? <laughs> oh my god. That is insane. I've literally I have never seen a score that high. I think I've won 10 nothing. I think that was my best score. Or like 10-1 or something. I think the most goals I've scored is 10, but 14. That's ridiculous. That is insane. That's like an NHL team playing like a midget team. You know, like that's crazy. That's what the numbers should be. Oh, wow. Dougie Hamilton. Yakupov. Okay, it looks like our power play might be working a little bit better. That's good. We only have three shots, though, so. Man, 14 nothing. I wish I would have, like, watched that game. Oh, my God, man. That is crazy. Absolutely insane. <laughs> that's... Oh my god. There we go, Callahan. Seriously. <laughs> Although, I mean, we do have our full lineup in, but still, 14 nothing is a little bit outrageous for a preseason game. Uh, that's just personal opinion. I've... Let me know what you guys... Have you ever seen a score higher than 14 nothing? I don't know. I... Like, that's like... That's literally like a beer league score. Like, when you play a, a really bad team. Like, that's literally what the scores are like. That's crazy. So, I feel like Morgan Riley has definitely helped us out <laughs> so far. Our second line was doing phenomenal, and then that third game was just, oh, devastation. We just killed Montreal. Like, they weren't even in that game at all. Um, but, yeah, it seems like we're getting a lot of points out of our guys. Huberto had two points there. Jeez Louise, man. 5-0 oh so far in the preseason. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to have a good year. I... You know, we both we we got that uh, got that fighter. Uh, we got McLaren for our fourth line fighter, and then yeah, I don't know. It, Petrovic seems to have the most pims. Oh, Callahan does. That's kind of weird, but all right. So Dansk is in. I'm gonna sim these two games here, um, just to see how we do. I'll do first period. First period. Second period. One nothing. Okay. Third period. See if we can bounce back here. Oh no, don't get a loss, guys. No. Oh, we're going to lose. one nothing. Uh, empty netter, that's okay. Alright, 2 nothing. Ottawa's a good team, though. They have they actually have a pretty solid team, so. And then we got one more game for preseason. That's crazy, though. 14 nothing. <laughs> that is literally, like, that's insane. I don't know. Like I said, let me know what you guys have seen for some scores, but I... I have never seen anything like 14 nothing before. That is crazy. Absolutely craziness. Yeah, see, uh, Ottawa was 5-0-1. Oh, we're 5-0-1, oh, so. Barchi has 8, or uh, Huberto has 8 apples already. That's crazy. Craziness. Okay, last game against Tampa Bay in the preseason. Uh, let's just do first period, one nothing. Second period, one nothing. still. Bodker had the goal. Third period... 
see what we can do here and then maybe I'll make the decision of goaltender based on the stats here I mean obviously uh, Dansk has played an extra game but all right two nothing victory we had a few shutouts there where our de defensively we seem good like we're not letting in that many goals so that is that is a positive but uh, <laughs> 14 nothing <laughs> oh my god that probably made our goals for absolutely crazy I mean, we've been scoring three, four goals in most of the games, except for the last two here. But uh, yeah, oh, three, three, six. Okay, yeah, like I don't know. That's that's something else. I can I can't say I've have ever seen that. Uh, October eighth. Okay, we're fine. So let's look at our stats really fast. Oh my Lanta, that is crazy, man. I don't think we're gonna see a score like that in the season. But wow, that's all I have to say. Is oh my goodness. <laughs> So, hopefully it continues. Um, yeah. Crazy. But uh, definitely Morgan Riley, I think, is going to help us out here. All right, so seven games. What do we got here? So, Huberto had 12 points. Mueller had nine. Callahan had nine. Ekman Larson had eight. Yakupov had eight. Barchi had seven. Bodker had seven. So, we had seven players a point a game or better. It's crazy. Uh, White had six points. Kulikov had four. Riley had... Th oh, Riley only had three points, eh? Wow, he was only he was a plus six though, so that's good. Uh, Shore had three points. Matthias had three. Houghton had two. Reinhardt had two. Larson had two. Bjugstad had two. Petrovic had one. McLaren, you know what? He's got ten pims, so that's kind of he's plus two. Like our our whole team is plus, which is great. I don't think we had any minus. Yeah, Houghton was even our fourth line. I mean, it was lower plus minus, but uh, still decent. All uh, right, so goalie wise, wow, look at our goalie. <laughs> So I think I'm going to start with Dansk. He played a little bit. He played a couple more games. Or, well, one more game. 0.5 goals against average. Bernie had a 1 goals against average. Uh, Bernie was 3 uh, 0 and 0. Dansk was 3 1 uh, goals against. So Bernie had 3 goals against. Dansk had 2. Oh my god. Uh, save percentage 9639 for Bernie. Dansk was a 9811. <laughs> two shoutouts for Dansk, one for Bernie. Uh, I don't even know what to say. That's uh, <laughs> those are some crazy numbers for goaltenders. I mean, again, preseason. I understand. Um, yeah, obviously you're not playing the best teams. They don't have their full lineups in that. But still, Columbus went seven and zero. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Ottawa had a good record. So did Pittsburgh. Um, goals for though we had thirty two, like four point five seven goals for. Woo. Tampa had four, which is. But yeah, like obviously everyone's goals for is a little bit higher, but ours is a little, little bit higher, you know? Uh, goals against uh, 0.86, that's great, crazy. Power play 21.1, so our power play actually, that's crazy. Columbus went undefeated in the preseason, didn't score a power play goal. At least we had a good power play, so I don't know. We'll see how that uh, carries over. 90.5 PK. Yeah, I have no complaints. I think we're going to be have. I think we're going to have a great season, all right? Uh, so we'll end it there. I think the addition of Riley is going to help us huge. Obviously, we've had a pretty good preseason. Um, and yeah, all right. So we'll get into the season next video. Thanks for watching.